Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the new Auto Roll Length feature. When we're printing on roll paper on a wide format printer, the typical thing to do is set up our printer properties, select the paper type and quality, and then set a roll length that we know works for us. So I'm just going to set 24 by 36. So I'll set the length to 36 because I know the biggest print that I want to print in this job is uh, 16 by 20. So this will certainly do the job for us. So the typical way to do this in prior versions and and all other software, as far as I'm aware, is to set your paper size first and then start working with your layout. So if we want to start this layout by adding some prints, we might add a 13 by 19, an 11 by 17, a couple 8 by 10s, and then we want to print a different image, print a 13 by 19 of that. And what typically happens is we end up with a second page, a lot of times, that just has one print on it. Because we can't really predict what paper length to use that will be optimal for our setup. So this leftover image here is going to take up a lot of roll because of all this white space in the vertical. So in order to get around that, we no longer need to set the length and leave it static. We can use this new feature called Auto Roll Length, turn that on by clicking on it, and now it will automatically pick a roll length that works for the layout that we're working on. So we can see that we have one page here, it fit everything on one page, and it picked 45 just a little over 45 inches for the length because that's what was needed for this layout. So if we go to a different print and we add another 13 by 19, it'll adjust the roll length. And you see we have a 58.25, almost 58 and a quarter uh, on our length. And it not only will expand it for you, but if you do something like, let's say I don't want this one anymore, and I just take it out. We're at 58 inches now. If I take this out, delete that print, now we're at 45 inches and it's shortened the roll to only what is needed to do our job based on the layout that we currently have. So this feature here will dynamically adjust the roll length for you as you go so that you don't have to do anything to adjust the roll length. And this will work all the way up to the length limitation of the particular printer that you're using. So if we, I'll just select this one print and just keep adding 13 by 19s. The Windows limitation on length of paper is 129 inches. So if we keep going, we see that the page starts to get long and skinny, which is okay up to a point. I mean, you can still see what's going on here. You still get a live view and this shows you the whole roll, what it's going to look like when it's coming out of the printer. But if we keep going, at some point we're going to exceed the 129 inch limit of windows or potentially smaller than that based on the driver for the printer you're using. Now if I add one more print here, we're going to go over 129 inches and we'll see that when we do that, it simply splits the job up into two pages but it picks a length that works well with the layout that you currently have so that you don't end up with a lot of wasted space, like one or two prints on the last page and a lot of wasted roll. Even if you take some of these prints and make them bigger, let's take three of these, let's take two of them and make them 16 by 20s. Now it's picked two pages, a little bit different length, but you can see that it's still using the whole length on both pages, so you don't get any wasted roll. So it can dynamically adjust even if you exceed the limit of the driver, otherwise it'll put it on one page. Now one thing I should mention here is you can turn this on or off at any time, 
and adjust the length manually, but if you leave it on, it will adjust the length for you. If you turn it off, you'll notice that the dashed line here that indicates where the printer is, this is the direction that the roll is coming out. So this dashed line that always appears, that's your printer, that's the tray where it's coming out. And now with auto roll length turned off, it will not adjust the length for me. And you see this regular dashed line here. If I turn it on, you see a dash dot pattern here indicating that the length is open-ended and will be adjusted by QImage. And again, that it's communicating, QImage is communicating with the driver to determine what those lengths should be. But the purpose is to find a layout where you never have to adjust the length and you'll always end up with a print job with the minimal amount of white space that might get wasted on your roll. Now I will point out, let me turn this off. I will point out that, in fact, I'll take all these out and start clean. And I'll go over to the HP Z3200. And I'll click on this auto roll length feature. And you notice you get a message that says the Z3200 does not support user defined media sizes. It has to be created in the driver. And it's telling you that because for whatever reason, HP decided not to give a user defined option here in the sizes. Each custom size, like this custom one here that I made, has to be made in the driver and then selected in the list. So because the HP Z3200 driver doesn't offer the option to let software control the length, it's not compatible with that printer. But as far as I'm aware, it's compatible with every Epson and Canon roll printer. So that's one thing to note is the, the printer. The other thing is, um, let me go back to the 9900 here. And we have a 24 by 36 inch page. I'll turn it landscape first. And I'll put it on a placement method like the old center option. And when I click this button to turn auto roll length on, it automatically puts the page back in portrait mode and it automatically selects IntelliCenter. And that's because the auto roll length option is only compatible with a portrait page because you need to be able to lay out prints in the vertical direction. And it's only compatible with one of these three Intelli placement methods. So it'll automatically take care of that for you. And now that I'm in that mode, if I add, let's say, pick this thumbnail, the guy in the water, and add an 8 by 10 I've got a little bit over an 8 inch length on my roll because it's adjusted it for, for me automatically. Now, if I try to turn this page let me let me add a few more because the page looks like it's landscape, but it's really portrait because my length is less than the height, the width. Uh, so now we have a more reasonable page. Let me turn this landscape now and you'll see what happens when I turn it landscape. It automatically turns this feature off. As indicated by the regular dashed line here, and now you're not in auto roll length mode anymore. And if you add another print, let's say 11 by 17, you can keep on going forward, no problem. But if you want to turn auto roll length back on, you can click on it anytime. It'll just turn the page back to portrait for you because that's what's needed for that mode. So I hope this helps you with your roll printing. It certainly makes things a lot easier by allowing QImage to dynamically control the roll length for you so that you don't have to worry with leftover gaps in the roll in your job um, and you don't have to try to figure out what length to use and again I'll mention that you can turn this feature on at any time you can have a layout that you wish had auto roll length turned on and then turn it on and it will go ahead and 
calculate the length for you. Or you can start with it on. Like I have an empty live view here with nothing on it. I can turn it on and just start adding prints. Add a 13 by 19, 16 by 20, 8 by 10, another 8 by 10. And it's just going to automatically adjust the length for you. Even if you take one of these prints and let's say take it out, it's going to automatically recalculate the roll length for you, no matter what you do. So hopefully this will make roll printing a whole lot easier. And I'm not aware of any other uh, mainstream photo printing software that will do this for you. So this should be a big help when roll printing. Thanks for watching.